Hi, this is uh, John. This is part three. We're at Dinsdale, Saturday. Is it the seventh or something today? Saturday the seventh. We're on the 13th hole. We're on the par four. 392 yards from where I was standing. A bit more here actually. It's 398 from here. But uh, yeah, they're not making this course any easier, are they? Although I'm playing it all right. I took a five there and I've had two pars back to back. Um, I'm playing it better than I have in recent years, but I'm still not. I haven't mastered it yet, Dinsdale, let me tell you. Here we go then. Drive her out. We know the line is in between those trees. It's, again, it's tight, 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 tight between those trees, but I'm going to have to go for it and give it a go. it well going a little bit to the left but I think that's fine I think that's findable I think that's great I think it's going to be left side maybe first cut left side but I think I've achieved what I've wanted to do and I can get it sort of between roughly the, the two trees I've achieved what I wanted to do and that was a tough tight tee shot it's all right if you're driving the ball well but if you're not tight driving all this my god it's a tight driving hole I think I'm all right. I think I'm all right. I don't think I'm going to be all the way right down there, but I'm certainly giving myself a chance. Whew. I think that's what they've tried to do, actually, this course, Dinsdale. I think they've tried to make Dinsdale the equivalent of um, Slaley Hall. I think they've tried to make a Darlington uh, South Tees equivalent of uh, Slaley Hall. I think that's exactly what they've tried to do because the design's very much like that. Uh, but yeah, oh, it's great doing this, you know, when, when you're a little bit tired, I've got it on seven and I can just walk like this down the slope. Don't have to push it and out. Oh, it's marvellous. Absolutely godsend this. But no, I think that's what they're trying to do. I think they're trying to make this into like Slaley Hall or Close House, the Close House of uh, the Darlington area. Obviously, you've got Rockcliffe Hall. Rockcliffe Hall's probably trying to do do the close house bit and they're probably trying to do the Slaley Hall bit, Dinsdale. Uh, and, but unfortunately there's hardly, I, I, I don't know why there's nobody playing Dinsdale actually because I would think for golfers this is a bloody good challenge. I mean myself personally it's not my sort of course to set me up perfect. It's not like oh it's, it's got everything that's going to challenge me and it's got the maturity and it's, it ticks every box like Durham City does or Castellane does. It doesn't tick every single box for us. It hasn't quite got that maturity thing yet. But I tell you what, in a few years, this could well be the Slaley Hall of, uh, of Darlington. It could well be. It's a little bit out in the sticks as well. That that's, doesn't particularly help. It's like the Darlington Club's virtually near the centre of Darlington. Uh, Blackwood Grange is near the centre of Darlington. Oh, here's my ball over here. Uh, Dinsdale's a little bit, it's a little bit further out the way. It's more uh, Middle, Middleton St George. That's where it is, Middleton St George. Uh, it's about six miles outside of, of Darlington. So it's not right near where the city centre is, so it's a little bit out of the way. Doesn't bother me if it's quiet. I just love I just love the fact it is quiet. The only thing it doesn't tick for me is it's not quite mature enough yet for me. Not quite mature enough yet for me. Um, but it's a bloody tough course, let me tell you, Dinsdale, it's not easy. 181 still up to the front there. We've probably got 175. Probably looking at the six iron. Is that the flag there, right in the middle of the green? I think it is. I'm just going to get the range finder to check. The tyres are full of muck. The winter wheels. Yeah, 175 from there, that reckons 172 the watch, so I'll go with that. Um, and it's, yeah, it's right in the centre of the right in the centre of the green. Slightly right if anything. So yeah, here we go, six iron. Oh, it's a bloody good strike, John. 
that's right at it if I've got the right club. That's a bloody good strike, John. Well done. The only question I've got to ask there is, have I gave it enough? That's the only question I've got to ask. Is it enough club, 175, six iron from where I was? And I tell you what, what a difference these steel heads have made to me. I mean, uh, no disrespect to Rick Shields and everything, but I don't think he knows what sort of mid handicappers want. I don't, I don't think he knows what sort of drivers we want, what sort of wedges we want, what sort of... Because uh, his recommendations, to, to, to be fair, he was the one who made me go for those PSI irons. Um, I was happy with the steel heads, but then he said, oh, these are the easiest irons I have ever hit in my life. And any sort of low to mid handicapper is going to absolutely love these things. It's the best irons I've ever hit in 2015, or was it 2016? I forgot. And I just went, bloody hell. If he's seeing that mine, these must be some irons. And I plucked at them. And you, saw, and you saw the result at Eagles Cliff, what happened. That was the finish. Eagles Cliff was the finish. I just went, that's it, bugger it. I'm never, uh, I'm never playing those PSI irons again. That's it, they're knackered. I still haven't got them up on eBay. I'm going to have to do it because I'm never going to use them again. Um, and I really don't think I want the new Rogue irons. I, I just... I, I don't, I don't think I want the new Rogue irons. I'm quite happy with these steel heads. I'm playing good, consistent golf with them. Why? Why would I want to change when I'm playing good, consistent golf with the steel heads? I just, I just don't know. Technology gets better, but as I say with the driver, I've switched from the Alpha. Oh, I'm well short. I'm well short. I've got a pitch on. Um, I'll put it at the back of the green so you've got a better view. Um, I've changed from the Alpha which is the 2014 model of driver to the Epic 2000 and coming towards the back end of 2017, so 2018 almost. And I've not noticed, uh, in fact, I'm happy, I was happy with the Alpha driver. Oh, here we go, the rain again. Um, so yeah, it's gonna be a hybrid, put it in a 56, and it's just what I feel like when I get there, to be honest. It really is just going to be my gut feeling when I get to the ball, what I feel I'm going to go for. Because uh, I can't really take me, there's that four ball there, so I'm well ahead of them now. I'm a good uh, two holes ahead of that four ball. Oh Christ, I didn't want this, I didn't want this weather. Now I'm just going to go for a pitch. I'm going to clean the ball because it's mucky as hell here. Here we go then. Oof, yeah, that's very good, John. That's very, very good short play. Very, very good. That's a Phil Mickelson. Absolutely fan Dabby Dorsey. Now a decent person would give himself that, but I'm not decent, so I'm going to make myself put it. There we go. What's a par? It's a bloody great par here at Dinsdale, that mind. Another great par. I'm playing this course much better than I have, than I have the last previous two times. And I'm and I'm much and I'm 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 chuffed to be honest. I'm chuffed that I'm playing better golf on this because I thought maybe Dinsdale is just too tough for us, but it's, it's not turning out to be that way this time. Um, but I am playing better golf than I was. That's the thing. I'm. It's strange how I'm playing half decent golf today, and then some days I can't the cow's backside with a shovel. But here we go. We move on to the 14th, I think, isn't it? Yeah, par four. Okay. Okie dokie. Oh, is this us all the way back here? Yeah, that's, that's the junior tees or the ladies tees. The ladies tees here are actually white and the men's are like a, a bluey, a bluey grey colour. So yeah, we're way back here. 
There we are. Then you've got the real pros right in the back there. Right, 320 yards. I think. Yeah, I might go with the driver here actually. I might just go with the driver. Yeah, I'm gonna give it a go. See if we can get it up there. Slightly right and fairway is ideal here, I think. Here we go. Okay, it's got a little bit left. Now I don't know how far I've got up there. I might take a provisional. I, mean, I, just, I just don't know how far up I've gone there. I'm gonna take a hybrid and uh, take me five hybrid, take a provisional. I'm just not sure how far up to the left I've gone there, if I've got enough room or if I've run out of room. So, yeah, it's very much going to have to be a provisional. Oh, it's gone off to where the trees are on the right-hand side. Yeah, wallop. Well, yeah, I'm still messing holes up, aren't I? To be honest, I think I've got more room up to the left than I think. I might be all right with the provisional. Uh, with the um, the first one, sorry. I think there's a little bit more room than I think. But we'll see, we'll see. I hit it well, I hit it well just off to the left, that's all. Yeah, okay. He's hoping. Let's just hope it's all right. The, first, the, the provisional as well just whacked off the tree, so I think I'm going to find that, but I'll pick that one up if I find the other one. But uh, yeah, off to the left-hand side there, I think there's a little bit, yeah, there should be really, the sh I should be all right up on that left-hand side because that's the green there for the fourth hole in the tee box, just, is just beyond the, the, where those bushes are up there. So I'm hitting it up the slope, so I shouldn't really carry that far. I shouldn't carry it that far, I should be all right. I should be okay up there. Uh, I should be all right. Should be plenty of space up there for us. Again, it's just by perception. It, it doesn't seem as long, as long as it is, but it is, it is a long, long way up there. Right. So we'll try and find the provisional first. And we'll, We'll find that, we'll play that, and then we'll have a look in the first year. Here's the provisional just here. It's just clipped the trees. Um, yeah, there's, there's no way that should be a lost ball, my first one. But we'll play this one, just to be on the safe side, and I'll go back to me first. Right, here we are, just in here. Right, what have we got? 179, that reckons 179, so again, six iron probably in fact i'll just i'll just gonna hybrid it down because it's gonna interfere with me shot this tree i've got a horrible feeling that's all i can do with it <laughs> that's all i can do but i'll back out and play but that's all I could do with it, it was interfering, that, that tree was shocking. <sighs> to be honest, I'm not going because I think I'm going to find my first one. I think it's going to be wild off to the left side, past those trees on the left side, but I think I'm going to find it. I don't think I'm going to have any problems finding it. I think we're going to find it okay, to be honest. 
It's um, right. We'll, we'll play this ball again, and then I'll try and find the first one over there. I'm not quite seeing it yet. I'm not seeing out to be honest, but it should be somewhere over there. Take the seven. Well, we'll just see when I get up there, but the provisional right now. Now, that was, that was the important job, John. Finding that first one, that's the important job. Right. It went over to the left-hand side. And it should be somewhere up here somewhere. You should be okay. You shouldn't be. You shouldn't be. There it is. There it is. I've got it. I've got it straight away. Fantastic. Just over to the left hand side of this tree. That's good. Whoop. That's not good though. Wait till I get any ball. That's not good though. Let's come loose again. Bum 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 bum. There we go. Right, we're just over here, the first one. <clears throat> like I say, I wasn't too bothered about that. Bit. Oh, right. Okay. Um, yeah, this isn't perfect position, is it? 155. It's going to be a low four hybrid. I'm going to punch it into the trees and try and get it to run down if I can. It's all right, it's going to be where a bunker is on the left hand side. I've punched it down all right, and even that, we punch where I normally draw it. It's faded with the four. I just, I just don't know. There's something. Standard and neutral. Maybe I should try putting it on draw and see what happens. I just don't know. It's like a foreign club to me now, this. I just don't know. But both balls should be uh, should be down there and findable. There shouldn't be any issues. That should be absolutely fine. Um, the first one's going to be the mini concert in here. Yeah, it's, it's just... Pull up and look again with the trolley. But uh, I'll get back and I'll, I'll, I'll open the wheels up and get all the muck out again and pose it down. Uh, so there shouldn't be any issues with either ball. What we just want to think is more likely to be on the left hand side of this bumper. The other one I'm not too sure must be left hand side bumper. And there's one there. And I think, I think that's my uh, first ball. I really think that's the first one. Yeah, more than likely the first one, and there's the second. Okay. You're perfectly, yeah. Uh, oh, here we go, the trip wires. Very cleverly avoided by me there. Ah, you didn't get us that time, you daft buggers. Right, um, actually, they're right next to each other. Uh, well, this is interesting. I'm going to have to have a, a little scout and have a look. This is interesting. To see which is which. I've got a feeling this one's going to be the first one. Again, if I'm wrong, I'm wrong, but I had a funny feeling it had a little bit further left. 53, okay. Uh, I'm gonna go 58 then. You're not gonna see the flag. Make sure I'm on camera. I'm blocked off here, unfortunately. I kind of bring the trolley around. Have I got the shot on for you? Hopefully not. Right.
past maybe present, I'm not sure. Maybe past maybe present, I'm not sure, but we'll see what we get there. What three I've had. I'm not entirely sure because it's blind, it's like a dip over that bunker. Once you get over that bunker on the left hand side, it's a, it's, it's a bit blind. But, uh, that should be alright, should be alright. Should be okay. I'm not seeing it, I'm not seeing it. Ah, right, okay, it's just got on, I think it's just managed to somehow roll on. I'll have to put it here for you, because again I'm blocked off. Anyway, that's three there. I'm putting for par, but uh, not exactly guaranteed, what is it? Yeah, I'm just on the train, I'm just on the train here. Move on now to 15th quarter play here at Dinsdale. Fort more to play. And to be honest, I think I've done alright this round so far. I can't count the chickens yet, but I've certainly done alright so far, I think. I wouldn't say I've brought 85 or outright, but I certainly think I've done okay. Better than uh, any previous rounds. Right, this way to the 10th tee now, we're not on the 10th one, the, uh... oh. This is the one, this is the one with the pond, I think. Yeah, this is the par 5 with the pond. I'll tell you what I'm going to do, I'm just going to tee it, I know it's cheating a little bit, but I'm just going to tee it just ahead of the mat, okay? I'm just going to tee it just, I mean, you can see where the mats have been previously, so... But uh, I don't want to go off the winter mat, I want to go off the proper grass, so I'll just tee it up. Just tear it up. I'll find it, I think I'll find it. It's, it's not a question, I think it's clear over that part of the course. But uh, it's, again, it's just not a good drive. That's, I've hit it well, and just the direction's gone all wrong there, it's gone all to put. You see, ideally, you want to be just left hand side of the fairway, but you want to be way over there, John, where the trees are. It's all right, I'll find this. That's why I haven't got the provision. If it has, I will have just got a ball and say to be fourth. But I think it's open enough to find it over there. I think that's uh, from a previous four. I don't know what hole that is actually. Uh, but I'll find out when I get down there what it is. But no, I think, I think I'm going to find that. I think it's all right. It's just, it's just going to be a question of how it bounces off the trees and everything. Par five is again very very hard driving home, and I've just stuffed that up. Again, Chris, there's another lake. Comes into play. Actually, I didn't actually notice that there's, there's a ball in the middle of the pond there. Is that actually a ball in the middle of the pond? Oh no, it's, it's not a golf ball. It's 
something. Yeah, that it comes out to play. I think on the 16th, I think that's the 16th actually. I think my ball is going to be on the 16th fairway somewhere, potentially. Potentially, it could be somewhere on the 16th wall. <coughs> oh no, here it is. <clears throat> here it is. It's whacked off the trees and it's come through. It's all right. It's not too bad actually. It's not bad. It's not bad. I've got a chance here. Again, it's in a funny position. You wouldn't, you wouldn't think that's actually come off the trees. It's, it's, it's sort of left, left side of the fairway. It's, it's, it's a weird position. Right, okay, well, this is the one with the, uh, the pond. So you've just got to, I've just got to play this down there and just play it safe. I'm just going to take a six iron, maybe even a seven. No, I'm going to go six. So I'm just going to play it safe. There's no way I can carry uh, 288 yards. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't, I can't carry 280 yards. I will just try and get it down there and then it's safe. It's possible. Okay, here we go. It's got to be safe when it's down where those trees are. It might even be, it might even be short of the trees. It might even be short, I might be lucky, I might have just got that short of the trees. But uh, I might be fucked off, I mean, I've ah. All you had to do, John was hit it down the fairway, all you had to do was a simple six iron, just a little punch down the fairway, that's all you had to do. So you pushed off to the right again. So all you had to do, just get yourself in a position to hit it over the pond. And now I'm going to be blocked out. Oh, you had all that space on the left hand side and you push it off to the right, you bloody idiot. But never mind, never mind. I've got all the space in the world, it's so open on the left side, why do I have to go over there where the trees are? You bloody useless idiot. All that space, it's all open there on the left hand side, even just, just two, three little immature trees, they wouldn't have affected you. Oh, man. I'm right where the 150 pole is, I think. I think I'm right where the 150 pole is and I'm blocked out. I can't, I can't go for the shot, I can't, I'm, I'm blocked out. I've got the place in rules, but I can't knock myself. Like that bloke says, just place it anywhere you want on the, on the golf course. I can't do that. That's where I am. Obviously, I've got relief from the stake, the 150 stake. But that's it, I can't, I can't. I can't It's not going to affect the swing there, is it? Um, I, can't, I can't go for the shot. I mean, I, I can go for the absolute real dangerous shot and take the hybrid and try and go. But can I can I can do it. It's just too much of a gamble. No, I'm, I'm sorry, 160. I can't do it. I can't do it, I'm just going to have to just punch it down there. Pitching wedge and punch it down. And, uh, Even then, I've only hit it 80 yards because I don't, I don't know how far down that pond goes. I've hardly hit it anywhere, to be honest. Never mind, never mind. I was doing so well up to that point. Doing so well up to that point. But who's to say I kind of get this on for four and get myself apart? I still get myself apart from here. I just need to be in the scoring zone, maybe 80 yards away, and I've got a chance. I've got a chance. Yeah, I should have hit that a bit harder, actually. I had no perception of how far the pond is down there. I could have hit that another 50 yards and I would have been absolutely fine. But uh, I didn't think, I didn't think. I just took the pitch and went and punched it down there and said, right, just give yourself a shot. So here we are for, uh, for pad three. This is my fourth. I'm in the scoring zone now, so rangefinder's coming out. We'll have a look.
378, okay. I'm gonna go 56, 90% 56. We'll take it from there. It's not magical, I stopped it dead. It's not absolutely magical, it's in the middle of the green. But uh, I've, got a, I've got a chance now for a par. At least, at least I've got a chance for a par. That'll do, that'll do. I've, I've got a putt for par, that'll do. It's all I can ask on this hole from where I was, to be honest, after the second shot. Uh, it's just a shame, that's my um, fourth. I've got a chance though, I have got a chance for par, I've got to keep a positive John. I've got a chance for par here on the 15th. Uh, yeah, and then obviously there's a pond on the 16th that I've never actually, I didn't actually notice that. Maybe because I haven't hit my ball down that way before, but I haven't actually noticed the 16th pond as well. So yeah, it's quite, uh, quite interesting. The, the thing is with this though, so I don't think, well it would come into play definitely for your second shot. But uh, I don't think your third shot, this pond, comes into play. It's different on, on par fives and par fours compared to par threes. It's a totally different kettle of fish, really. Right. Like, Winyard's got water as well, but the water doesn't really affect us at Winyard, to be honest, apart from maybe the 16th. But apart from that... Right. Here we go, then. Put up the car. Here we go, the chance. The three times I've played here, actually, I don't think I've done any better than a um, than a six on this hole. When I think about it, I don't actually think I've done any better than a six. Uh, which way am we going? We'll go this way around because it's quicker. No, I don't think I've done any better than a six on that hole. Um, it's 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 a hole. If you get a good drive away, a good second shot in the position, you're more than capable of paring that. There's no reason why you can't. I nearly parred it there, and uh, it, it was four onto the green. So it's not. Um, it's just a tight driving hole. You put it. That's, that's a key feature. Dinsdale, they are, they are tight driving holes, you've got to get the ball back down the fairway. The camera doesn't, I don't think the camera will do it justice. I've looked it on, on camera and it doesn't look like these fairways are narrow. But trust me, they are. They're very narrow fairways. They're not, they're not as wide as you think. Sometimes Durham City off here, sometimes later on, like the 10th and the 14th off here, bigger fairways than you think. They look, they look smaller than you think. They're actually larger than you think, but these are actually smaller than you think. This is where the pond is. I'm going to go driver. Just because I'm hitting it sort of half okay at the minute. The last hole, obviously, well, I hit it all right. I just didn't hit it where exactly where I wanted to hit it. But, uh, yeah, all right. Here. 
wonder what all that is over there. Starting at about 1917, possibly. It might well be the same route, I'm not sure. Here we go. I must have actually got it gone. I've just bunked it down and got it down there. If you can. Down there. Hit it well enough, just didn't get the height, so it skids out. And there is the pond on the left hand side, so if anything, in fact, I might have mentioned that before the last time I bailed up to the right, I think. So it's not, uh, so maybe I did notice it, just I'm not remembering it. Oh, it's clear to me now what happened. Yeah, I think I said, oh, there's, there's a point to the left, so I'll bail, I'll bail a bit off to the right, and that's what happened. The subconscious bailed me off to the right. I'm, I'm sure that's what happened the last time. We'll see, though. We'll see. I've had a good round, though. I think I've had a much better round than I think. I've grafted, I've grafted round this golf course again. I've grafted, as I do with every golf course, and I sometimes come off, and I think to myself, how have I played so well? Because I felt like I've just grafted and grafted and grafted, but... I think today I've grafted, but I've played decent golf as well. It hasn't, like, it, it doesn't come... Uh, it, it's hard to explain to you, but... It, it doesn't come easy to us golf now. It's not coming easy to us anymore. With everything I'm putting up with, it's tough for us. It's tough with the lack of energy and everything, and I, and I feel like... Especially when I get to host 10 and 11. Like, the day of the 12th again, 13th, I started to tire, and I'm tiring now. And it's, it's graft for us, you know, it's real hard graft this for us, but I've had a decent day. Uh, considering the uh, the forecast, I think it's been alright today actually. As before there, past the 150 stakes, so I've made this hole much easier by not using the hybrid and getting it on the right side of the fairway. I've made it a lot easier for myself. So yeah, anyone on YouTube want to suggest any films to us, please do so. On Facebook messages because I'm running out of options now. Because that did grandpa was just a good waste of my time. Gotta be something else good that I can watch. Right. How good was Morgan Freeman in or De Niro does another good film or DiCaprio or something like that? Any sort of act like that, Matt Damon's alright, Brad Pitt's alright, anything like that, Johnny Depp. Johnny Depp actually he's recently done some really crap films. He's uh, starting to uh, lose his um, his star uh, his star falling off. He's starting to lose some films that are real crap. Right, back on the tip range finder out. It's that sort of zone. I need it. I haven't got pretty good perception here. Nine. 126. It's uphill, so the pitching wedge might not be enough in winter conditions. Go for an easy, controlled nine. I think. I've been very weak on the shot and I didn't feel I was weak on that shot. I felt as if I struck it well. A good 90% 99, we'll see. We'll see. But no, I think I've done all right today. I think I've done all right. I've grafted it all the way around, but I think I've done all right. Just hope I'm not in that bunker. I sort of hit it where I wanted to hit it. 
but uh, it just curled around a little bit on me, just drew a little bit on me. But uh, I sort of hit it where I wanted to hit it. I'm not seeing the ball anywhere, to be honest. I think it might well be in the bunker. Might well be in the bunker. I think I've underplayed it. Oh, these stakes everywhere, man. They get to you. These bloody little stakes. I've got to go all the way around here. This rough patch and everything. Yeah, I'm just short. I'm actually just short. I can see it. I'm just short of the green it's going to be. I, I might even use my hybrid for this. I might just even use my hybrid. Right. Well, I'll take it a bit further up. I'll take it. I'll take it all the way around for you. I'll take it all the way around so you've got a good view of the green. Oh, that nice. But, uh, yeah, I feel like I've really drafted hard today around this course like I usually do, to be honest. It's not come easy to us today, but... but um, I'm happy that I've played it. And I'm happy I've actually got around in because there's other places where it's just shut. They just all shut the courses. Right, I'll put it there for you. Um, I might take hybrid, I might take 56 and we put a, and we'll see when I get down there. So down to 17th now, which is Yards. Again, this isn't the hole you really want to be taking the driver on. In fact, that's the tee boxes back there, isn't it? I was going to almost, I was almost cheating there. I was almost going to go off the, uh, the juniors. Our oh, tees are back here. Not the juniors, sorry, the ladies.
yet. Let's go take the five hybrid for this and just get it into play. I'm not taking the risk of the Find both ends up straight down the middle. I'm really tiring now. I must be honest, golfers. I'm really tiring, but uh, I'm grafting. I'm bloody grafting, and I think Dinsdale. I might come out of this all right. You know, I might come out of this with a sub 90. I don't know what the score is. I haven't kept the score all the way around, but I've got the footage. You can't, you can't cheat the footage. I have got the first one, the second one, different parts. And I've got the rest all together, I think. You can't cheat footage. You can't cheat the footage, it's all there to say. But I think I've shot a sub 90 if I keep going the way I am. I don't think I've broke 85, but I think I've certainly broke, broke the 90 mark if I can just call a one over and one over together. I think I've done alright. I've pulled some cars together. I've had a birdie. I've had a birdie on that car 4. Uh, was it the 10th? Was it the 10th? Was it the 9th? Oh, I'm not sure what all it was. But uh, I've certainly played some consistent golf apart from maybe that last ball. And uh, I have hit a few balls into the trees and stuff like that. But it's going to happen here at Dinsdale because there's such tight driving holes. Even this is such a tight hole. I just took the hybrid because if you go too far off to the left, it's out of bounds. You've got bunkers and trees all off to the right here. Very, very difficult course this Dins deal when I think about it now. Good challenge, good challenge. Here I am right in the middle of the fairway, brilliant, absolutely brilliant, just where I wanted it. Still got a long way to go, mind. At least I've got a shot on. Right. Where is the flag? Where's the flag at here? I'm not seeing it. Might have to be the old rangefinder coming out again. 176 from there, so about 170 when I get there. It's gonna be, it's gonna be a six iron, I think. I'll have a look. Have a look down there. See what I'm seeing. Oh, 173, that's better. I was going to say, I think I'm, I'm, I'm plugging the back trees there at 193. Uh, 173 yards. Yeah, I'm going to go six if it's down the floor. Right in the middle of the green again, I think. I'll find it, I'll find it, it's in the trees though, I will find it. Ah, uh, you see, the trees on the right, with my natural fade, they've, they've come into play again, they were encroaching me on the green, and I says, well, I'm going to just have to go for it and hope it fades round, and it hasn't, it's just gone straight, and it's gone into the trees. I will find it, I will find it, it's just a little bit disappointing. It's actually quite a whole, tough hole, the 17th. I will find it, it's, it's open, the trees are open, I don't think it's massively thick rough over there, but... Ah, man. The 
If I find it, it's not a disaster. If I find it from there, it's not a disaster. I don't think it's going to be lost. But uh, it's been a hard slot today. See, ideally, you want to be on the left hand side, but you've also got the left hand side out of bounds. The trees there were just, just encroaching me with my six iron. And uh, I should have known, really, I should have known, really, what was going to happen. <sighs> here it is, here, just in the trees, but I ain't, um, I ain't got a shot on. Hell, the chance of I've got a shot on. Right, there's a bunker there. I might have to just accept trying to hit it through that gap and being in that bunker. And I think the bunker's ground under repair. I just use it to my advantage and then drop it and pitch it on. I think that's the only thing I can do. Sixty-three yards. I'm going to use the roof to my advantage. See if I can get this out. Right, it's out. <laughs> hey, dearie me! Did you see that? Even I don't know what did that. That, that was like a pin. That was like a pinball machine. That it's out though. I've got a shot. I've had uh, that's three I've had though, unfortunately. It was like a, uh, a ping pong ball, that. And, and a pinball machine just bong, 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 but it's, it's out. Right, don't mess this up from here. You've had three, have we? What have we got? 39 yards, a little pitch, 56. It's all right, I've got a putt, but unfortunately the putt's going to be for five, that's four of our... You see, again, this is meant to be relatively simple, 333 yards, it's meant to be relatively simple, but it's not, it's not a relatively simple uh, hole, and it's not at all a relatively simple hole. <sighs> So we've got this for a five, unfortunately. Nothing else I can say apart from I just hope I get this in. Those lads have probably heard us over there, but I'm not bothered. Oh, I feel like I've won the pools there, getting a five out of that. All right, last hole, 18th coming up. We've done bloody well today, John. He's done bloody well. Now, come on, big finish on this last. Big, big finish on this last. Maybe take the drive and try and blitz it down there. But by God, you've done well today. You've grafted. Although you, you, your score might have suggested that you've bloody grafted and grinded hard today, sir. You've really grinded hard and grafted today to get this score out. You really have. Right. Here we go, 80 to T. I know the sun, I know where it's at now with the tea boxes. Wow. Really tired now, I really, really am just 
but I'm 100% with it, but I'm going to keep going. I don't think I'm going to bother with the funny. I haven't got it in us, I don't think. But uh, yeah, if, if you need a playoff hole, I think that's what it's for, like a playoff hole. That's why I think they're going to see a doomsday. I think it's just it a bit of a laugh, you know, have a, have a playoff hole if you need it. Uh, yeah, okay. Here we go. Ocean farming up the ocean. Okay. It looks it looks wide that fairy, let me tell you, it's not as wide as you think it is. Not as wide as you think, but I'm gonna take the driver out. And I'm gonna give it a good damn go. I guarantee that, I'm gonna give it a good damn go to get it up there. I don't know what the score to do, but I'm certainly uh, stuck to what I've done so far. I just want a big last push in this last boat. A big last push. Big push, big pump. I mean, I've got no pump for this course, it's particularly easy. But, uh, I'm glad I've, I've grinded hard today, man. Here we go, last course. A big push down there, come on. name's John Hutton and I hit bombs. <laughs> well, I've hit a bomb. I have hit a bomb. But, uh, my God, I was chuffed with that. That's a good one. It's a good, solid hit, that, mind. Straight down the middle. Maybe left fairway. Let's see what we get there. My God, that was a bomb. Just what I needed. Just what I needed on this last. Yeah, Dins deal out, we've done it again. I'm starting to uh, appreciate the course a little bit more now, I think. I still think it's not quite set up for my eye, it's still not quite my sort of course. But uh, I I've got to be honest, it's, it's set up for a modern course. Out of all the modern courses, uh, I'll have to give Sharpie another go. I will have to give Sharpie another go, but. I rate this better than Sharpley, to be honest. I do rate this better than Sharpley. Uh, unfortunately, unfortunately, this is like a seven, seven and a half out of ten. Sharpley was about a six and a half, seven. But uh, I certainly, um, I certainly think it's got the, a little bit more maturity. It's a modern course, but it's got more maturity, and it's. Um, yeah, I can see the ball better, basically. And I've got markers, I've got markers around this course where I can see where I'm hitting my ball. The only thing at the start of the round I didn't like was those yellow V on my balls. I can't, I can't see those balls and feel my balls where I'm hitting them. I haven't got any perception of where I'm hitting them. The minute they came off the club heads, it's just like, where the hell's that ball gone? So I won't be using them again. I'll be sticking with the, uh, I have to buy the more expensive Vivid balls, I can't, I can't just buy the cheap ones because I just don't know where the hell they're at. I think I should be left side of the fairway. I didn't see the exact line, but I saw how I struck it off the face and, is this it here? No, that's not it. I don't think that's it anyway. I was expecting it to be somewhere, uh, Somewhere up here. Well, as of yet, I'm not seeing it. I thought it was a bomb. It turns out I'm not. I'm not. I'm not seeing it. Oh Christ! Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, well, maybe it was off to the left. I don't know. I thought I absolutely hit a bomb. I really did. I thought, oh, that is an absolute tracer bullet. Where's it gone?
Yeah, I hit it, that's all that, but it's absolutely gone, but it's obviously faded on us. It's obviously not as good as I thought. It's down here, it's alright, it's fine. It's going to be about 140 yards or so, it'll be fine. I did think I was pushing my boat there, going all the way up there to 87 yards. I thought, nah, not from uh, 300 and... Oh, how far was it? How long was the hole? 330 yards or something? I thought that could have fitted that far up the bank. Yeah, here it is, here it is, here it is, here it is. Uh, don't think anything's particularly in my way. I don't think I was particularly in my way. It was going to be a threat to us. But uh, it's 132, about 125. We get there. Nice easy nine up the bank, I think. Remember, it is up the slope, John. So you're going to have to. Is it in the out of the and what are they using that for? Yeah, that means 115. The cheeky buggers have put the flag. We'll refer to back to maybe at 118, 119. The cheeky buggers have put the flag right on the left edge of the green where you can't see it behind that. Because you have tree there, it's just to the right of that. A big bitty tree on the left. You can I mean, it's all right. It's not. Uh, it's not where the flag is. It's up to the right a little bit, but we should be somewhere near the green. Aye, the cheeky buggers. For the last hole, they've put it right on the edge of the left side of the green, <laughs> so you can't see where the pin is if you're over on the left side. I thought for a minute uh, uh, of the taking the flags out of the. I says, well, I can't have. They've got the tee boxes in play. They've got the tee boxes in play. The holes in play. But. Uh, yeah, we'll see when we get up there. I'm not, uh, I'm not crying over spilt milk. We'll see. It's slightly right. I, I don't even know if it's going to be on the green, but we'll see. But by God, I've grafted hard today. I've grinded it and grinded and grinded the day. I do know that, and I'm absolutely shattered. I've grinded my bloody backside off today, mind. I really have. <sighs> you couldn't have asked any more out of me today. I, you, 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 you can't. I can't give you any more, that's it. I'm done. I'm done after this hole, that's it. I couldn't do another thing. Bloody grinded all the way around. I've, I've just have cleared it. I've done it. But I'm also knackered. Right. Where's my ball at? Ground under up there. Okay. Needs to bother. Well, here I am, just over here, right? Okay, I'm gonna be. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna pull it over here where the uh, where the blockade is for the shot. I did think it was slightly right, but it's all right. Get up. Okay, so it'll be a 56 pitch from there. Out of the green, I think. Uh, blah 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 blah. There we go. Yeah, 
Yeah. Don't ask me to pay another bloody hole because I've left it for Actually, what does this say? Anything great there? I mean, it was thick rough to be honest. <sighs> I'll just leave it here for you. Okay, so that's three I've had. How are you, John? At least put this dead for yourself. Come on. At least if you pop off here with a five, you've done all right. You've done all right. The 18th really is a hole that looks simple on paper again, but it's not because it's up the hill. Here we go. So yeah, that's uh, that's it done again. I don't know what I've scored. I don't know. Uh, I'll have to look at the footage. But uh, I feel as if I've done all right there. You know, I feel as if I haven't let myself down. Uh, I think I've grinded, I think I've worked hard, I lost one ball which didn't particularly help, that's a couple of shots added onto the scorecard, but like I say the lads were there and maybe I could have found it if I had the time but I didn't want to hold them up, but apart from that, apart from hitting a few balls into the trees, I think I've grinded hard and I think I've come out of that alright actually, I think I've come out of Dinsdale alright there and I hope I've broke 90, I hope I have. I'm not sure if I have because I've got no real perception. I've, I've, I've lost my memory what I did throughout the round. But uh, I'll recount the round when I go through it on the uh, the camera. And it is still recording, isn't it? Yeah. How long have we been recording for? Quite a while, I think. Yeah, now in 10 minutes. For that part of the thing. But, um, end round, yeah. Finished round. We did it in 3 hours and 16 minutes, which is about alright for me on a longest course like Dinsdale, that's alright. Castle Eden, 3 hours, that's 3 hours 15. Yeah, that's alright, that's alright. Uh, and I had a few holes where I was slowing up because of the four ball, but they let me play through. They were good lads letting me play through. How about for us? We've done it, we've done Dinsdale again. Um, oh, God, i take this off. I have absolutely grinded my backside off there, mind. I'm absolutely knackered. Absolutely, I've got not an inch of energy to give you. I couldn't do another hole. I couldn't do another hole. All my energy is put gone. I have grafted and grafted and grafted there, mind. I really have. I'm absolutely delighted with myself. I hope I've shot a sub at 90 and it might even be good enough to go most of my handicap, I just don't know, I just I just don't know, I mean that birdie bloody helped, I think I remember two pars, I don't remember much else, I don't know how many more pars I got, but I think I've grafted the backside off there, mind, and I think I've come out of that alright, I think I've come out of that alright, I'm not too sure, but uh, you, you will know yourself roughly where I'm at watching the thing, but I, I reckon I'm uh, below the 90 mark there, uh, where's the little blowers? Yeah.
I'm done. <laughs> Here we go. now actually So yeah, I'm absolutely chuffed with that. How I've done there. We'll just have to, uh, just have to see what I get in. The final thing is. about this, you know, if you're in much, I'm just, uh, I think with the front wheel you kind of really blast it out, I'm going to try, but, you know, I kind of really blast it out. That'll do, that'll do for now. Do a couple of get back in the house. Uh, yeah, so yeah. Yeah, like I say, I'm, I'm delighted with that. I'm mucky, I'm dirty, I'm everything, but I've, I've grinded my way around that golf course. Really, really grinded. And I'm delighted, I'm delighted. It's everywhere, shut a minute. I, this, this is ridiculous. This really is ridiculous, by the way. I'm just going to go into the uh, the locker room and use the toilets. I'll just be two two seconds. See you in a bit. Sorry, I'm back. I'm back. Pop the toilet there. So yeah. Oh, I just get over the car park. I mean, this this is great for me actually. All these videos that I'm doing because it's like I'm, I'm speaking to people on the I'm speaking to cameras, like I'm speaking to someone on the course for this. It's brilliant, really. And, uh, it really is a comfort thing to me now. This it really is a comfort thing to me. But yeah, Dinsdale again, and uh, it's going to be a nice after that evening, to be honest, a nice afternoon. Um, delighted, delighted with myself. I just I kind of wait to watch the footage and see how well I played. To look over it and to help me score and everything. Uh, like I say, it's, I don't think I played absolutely out my skin. I don't think I've broken 85. I really don't think I've done that. I don't think I've been capable of doing that today. But um, I certainly think. I've been capable of breaking 90. We'll see how we do. We'll see how we do, and I'll look through the video because I don't have a clue what I scored. By the way, I quickly went at the scorecard because I knew coming here. I said, "Well, I'm going to have to go to the bar." The bar, the, the bar again was shut, so I had to pay online. Luckily, I paid online before I came. Um, 
but yeah, yeah. 20, uh, it depends on the deal, sometimes it's 20 quid, sometimes it's 25 quid, I think the deal was 20, I think, because um, it was the latest tea time, 12.30, something I got, 12.34, something I got, teed off, so it was 20 quid a day, sometimes it's 25, it just depends, it really just depends, but... Yeah, 20 quid, it's not too bad actually when you think about it, 20 quid to pay that core team to you to try and get you the best teas they can, it's not too bad, anyway, this is John from John Hutton Golf Channel, see you later, bye for now, bye.